Welcome to Flurry Teacher. In this video, we will learn how to create Android virtual device and run the Flutter application inside it without using the Android Studio. So without wasting time, let's get started. Personally, I don't prefer the Android Studio, not even the Android virtual device because both these are quite heavy software. They consumes much more memory in the computer and slow down your system. That's the reason I use VS Code and connect my real device in order to run the Flutter applications. Now let's look at the softwares that we must install and set up here. First one is we need JDK that is the Java Development Kit. I prefer Open JDK. I have tried so many versions of Java and JDK but JDK 8 is the one that best suit for me. Secondly, we need Flutter SDK. Third one, we need Android command line tools in order to get the Android SDK. Fourth one, we need the VS Code and the last one, we need a special software called Hexam. Now let's download them one by one. First of all, download OpenGDK. For this, we need to write OpenGDK 8 download for Windows. Click on the first link available. This will navigate to OpenLogic website. From here, we have to select specific version of Java. So we need Java 8. Then select the OS. I will select Windows in my case. Then select the architecture, I will go with 64 bit and select the JDK because we only need the JDK, not the JRE. Then here I will select this specific zip file. Click on this zip and it will start downloading JDK for you guys. Next, we need Flutter SDK. For this, just type Flutter SDK download. Now click on the first link available. This will navigate you to the official website of Flutter. From this, click on the button Get Started. Select the option called Windows. The latest version of Flutter available here is Flutter 2.10, but I personally don't prefer this version. Instead of that, I prefer the old version. For this, I need to click on the SDK release. And from that, I will select this Flutter 2.8 version. Click on this one and it will start downloading Flutter 2.8 for you. Next, we need the Android command and tool. For this, just type Android SDK download. Click on the first link available. This will navigate to Android Studio official website, but we don't need Android Studio. For this, just scroll down a little bit and look for the option called Command Line Tools. From this, just select the Windows option. Click here and it will start downloading the Android Command Line Tool for Windows. Now we need the VS Code. For this, just type Download VS Code. Then click on the first link available. It will navigate you to the official website where you can get the VS Code. Just click on this Windows button and it will start downloading VS Code for Windows. Lastly, we need a software called Hexam. For this, just type Hexam download. Hexam actually stands for Hardware Accelerated Execution Manager. It is actually a software that speed ups and improves the performance of emulator installed in the Intel machines. I personally prefer to get Hexam from this filehouse.com. So click on the second link available. Then click on this free download button. And finally, we have to click the button called start download, which will start downloading the Hexam for Windows. Now we have properly downloaded all these five softwares that we need. From this, let's start installation of this VS Code. For this, just double click on this VS Code setup. Click on the accept, then click on the next and click on the install button. Now VS Code has installed properly. Click on this finish button. Now install the Hexam software. For this, just double click on this zip file and double click on this executable file in order to install this file. Click on run button, click on next, click on install. Now we have to extract this command line tool, Flutter SDK and the Open JDK. You can see I have properly extracted all these three folders inside the Flutter Dev folder. Now rename this long folder name with the short folder, let's say the JDK. Then go inside this folder, click on the bean and select the path up to the bean. Copy this specific path and set the path for this bean directory. Click on the environment variables and search for the system variable called path. Click on the path, then click the edit button, click the new and paste the path that you have copied. Click on OK. And here we need to set Java home. For this, click on the button new and just type in capital Java underscore home. Paste this path, but don't paste this bean folder here. 
means just keep the part up to the folder jdk click on ok click on ok and again click on ok rename this folder to flutter sdk so i will write here flutter sdk go inside this folder go inside the flutter folder then go inside the bean folder and copy the path up to this bean folder and set the path for this bean location search for the path click on again environment variable look for the path system variable click on edit click on new and paste the specific path click on ok again ok and ok now rename this folder to android sdk so i will write here android sdk go inside this folder you will find a folder called command line tools inside this folder you will find this source.properties file click on this file and open in the notepad now you can observe here inside this file the package division version is 6.0 that's why all this folder must be placed inside this specific folder with the name 6.0 so for this purpose let me create a folder and i will name this as 6.0 and what we need to do we need to move all these folders inside the folder 6.0 go inside this folder 6.0 go inside the bean folder and now Again, we have to set the path for this specific bean folder. For this, just copy the specific path, go inside the path and click on this environment variable. Just click on the path, click on edit button, click on new and paste this specific path. Click on OK, OK and OK again. Now it's time to set Android home. For this, go inside this Android SDK folder, click on this specific path and copy the path up to this location go inside the path click on environment variables click on the new button and type in capitals android home here is the path that you have copied here then click on ok ok and ok open the command prompt and install the build tool for sdk for this we have to write the command called sdk manager within double quote we have to write build tools and specify the version so we'll go with 30.0.0 and hit the enter button now it's time to install this specific platform for your sdk for this we need to write sdk manager within double quote we have to write platforms colon android dash 30 and hit the enter button we must download the specific system image that should be used by your android emulator for this we have to write sdk manager then within double quote specify your system then images then we need to specify android version so i will go with android 30 then here we need to specify the api so here i will go with google apis and finally we must specify the technology here i will write x86 as well as v64 and hit the enter button it's time to create the evd for this we have to write a command called evd manager then create avd and specify the name of avd using dash dash name and here i will write my name of avd as my avd after that we have to specify the package that is the image that this avd should use so we have to write dash dash that is hyphen hyphen packages so right here package then specify the name of package so in this case it is system slash images then colon android the specific version is 30 that we have downloaded right now then specify the api in the form of google underscore apis and finally you have to specify the technology so here i will write x86 as well as the 64 bit technology and hit the enter button now this will ask you whether you want to go with custom hardware profile for your AVD. 
In this case, I will say no. If you want to learn how to change hardware configuration even after creating the emulator, let me know in the comment section so that I can create special video for that one. Close this command prompt. Now it's time to set path for platform and platform tools in Android SDK. For this, go inside this Android SDK folder, go inside this platform tools folder, from this copy this specific path, then jump to your path variable, click on this environment variable, look for the path, click on this edit button and click on the new button, paste the path that you have copied. Click on this new button again, paste this path but at this time just delete these tools and just make it a platforms and click on ok. We also need to set path for emulator, for this just go inside the folder called emulator, copy the specific path and add it to your path variable. Again click on path, click on this edit and click on the new button and paste the path that you have copied for emulator. Click on ok, ok and ok. Now open the new command prompt, just take out a list of emulators in your system. For this you have to write emulator dash list avds. You can see it is showing I have the avd called my avd. Now it's time to launch this specific my avd. For this we have to write emulator then dash avd and write the name of avd that is my avd in this case and hit the enter button. Congratulations, your AVD has launched successfully. Power on your device. Meanwhile, let me open a new command prompt and check out the status of your Flutter. For this, we have to use Flutter Doctor command. Just type here Flutter Doctor. Now you can see Flutter Doctor is seeing issues regarding this Android license. So just type this command to get the Android license. So here you have to type the Flutter Doctor, then the specific Android license. Hit the enter button and get the Android license. And finally, again run this Flutter Doctor command and check out the final status of your Flutter installation. Now everything is fine here. We have the Flutter, we have the Android SDK installed properly, we have the Android Chrome, we have the VS Code and we also three different connected devices and this one is the device also connected here. Now close this command prompt. Here I have a folder called My Apps inside which let me create the first Flutter application. For this I will open command prompt here and I will create a simple Flutter application. For this I need to write Flutter then create, I will say your name of application is first app and hit the enter button. Close this command prompt. Now open the VS code and click on this extension and check for the extension called flutter here. Just click on this install button, click on this close button and it's time to open your first flutter application. I have opened the flutter application first underscore app that we have created right now. Let me maximize the size of this emulator a little bit. Now you can see VS code is showing name of AVD here in the form of my AVD. Just click on this leaf folder, click on the file main.dart and click on the run button and it will start executing your application inside this specific emulator. Congratulations, our app has run successfully inside the AVD. Just click on this plus button and check out the app. That's it for this video. If you really found this video helpful, then don't forget to like, share, subscribe and hit the bell notification button to get my latest videos.